Hello, Facebook. Welcome to Book Studio 16. Happy Friday. Happy Father's Day weekend. We have our gift guide live experts here who are going to give you some recommendations if you are scrambling for a gift for your father this weekend. So I'm going to hand it over to them. (laughs) Oh, sorry. I interrupted you. Keep talking. No, that was it. Take it away. (laughs) Um, So when I was on my way down here, I um, was like, oh, what's this package on my desk that is not labeled or anything? And Mm -hmm. then I like opened it up. It's definitely my dad's Father's Day present that I forgot to send him this week. So, oops. Oops. Okay. Well, my dad and my dad is watching, so... He's just gonna have to act surprised. So, are you, are you saying what you're getting him? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So okay. he's just he's just gonna have to act surprised. I mean, my dad's getting a book. He just doesn't know what book it is. Yeah. Yeah. So that's part of the surprise. <laughs> again, sorry for the spoiler. But again, he's been getting books like every Christmas and birthday, and yeah. Father's Day, for since, every occasion no. since yeah. I started working yeah. in yeah. books. Yeah. So he's like, thanks. I don't feel bad about it. Yeah. No. Okay, what are we doing right. first? Are we introducing ourselves? We haven't done that yet. I think you should. And we have a yeah. new person here. You should let everybody know who you so are. So I'm Bethany, and I'm on like all of these gift guide lives because I love chatting with you all so much. Uh, and I'm Kim Raycon. I'm the newbie, I guess. Um, this is your first for, one for a free for all Friday. It is my it is my first one. So I thank you. And I'm Elizabeth, and I've done a handful of these. Yeah, with Bethany. They tend to be the Beth and Beth show. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with and that. And we have Mi- we have Michael. Yeah, we have Michael. Hey, yeah. Michael. This this time I am behind the camera, so I'm the disembodied voice. We didn't Hello. want him to outshine us. <laughs> That's he true. Does. That's true. Because he always does. And, and everybody Alex likes him is more. doing the the <sighs> And Alex yep. is such Hi, a Alex. champ. He is. But we <laughs> let them have any of the donuts. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. <sighs> so we all came prepped with a couple of um, really good ideas for your dads. Or if you're a dad, just buy yourself a present. That's fine, too. Mm -hmm. Um, So we have all these recommendations, but I want to tell you there's all of these and more at hcbookfinder.com. There's a tab for Father's Day and, you know, other tabs separated out by genre. But we picked some really good ones for Father's Day. Mm -hmm. Um, Does anyone want to go first? Does anyone feel, like, particularly screamy about one of theirs? I kind of want you to do – are you doing pants drunk? (laughs) <laughs> I am. I want you to start was, with that. Really? Oh, do you want to end with that? That's fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. I was going to start with Pops. Oh, start with Pops. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's choice. perfect. Yeah. So Pops is Michael Shabon's newest book. Um, it's a uh, essay collection, and it started, h- how he got the idea for this was he wrote a great article in GQ <sighs> magazine about his son, and he attended Fashion Week in Paris with his son. And that was kind of the springboard for this collection of essays. That was such a good essay. Such too. a good, good essay. And so um, this is an adorable little book too, isn't it? It's so cute. And it's my favorite co- color. Orange, is orange. Yeah, mine too. And it's just a, a really, really nice little essay collection. And then take yeah. the jacket off yes. and show them because the jacket is so neat. Look at this. So see where it says "Father." They did oh, like the die cut cover, so it's super gifty and adorable. And if you don't know who Michael Shabon is, he's a Pulitzer Prize winning author. Mm-hmm. And um, he did he, like what Adventures of Cavalier and Clay. Yes. Summerland. Thanks. Had a total brain fart. You're just welcome. There. That was literally the <laughs> only one. <laughs> <laughs> and Moon Glow, and which Moon Glow, Glow, which yeah. yeah. So this is a wonderful gift to give any dad, um, a new dad. It's about just the yeah, the, new dad, old dad, all about the, dads. the wonders dads, of yeah. parenthood, the wonders of fatherhood, and it's just uh, I think anything written by him, you will just love it. So. I remember when okay, so I was so excited when they said they were going to call this one Pops because mm-hmm. my sister and I used to shout for our dad to come turn the light off mm-hmm. in our bedroom, and it was like oh, and I'm definitely talking when like we were like 13 or 14. Okay, we were lazy, and so we would shout Pops, <laughs> Pops, and then he would come in and be like, "What do you want?" And we'd be like, "Hey, since you're there, could you turn off the light?" <laughs> and then he would get really mad and he would turn the light off and shut the door. Okay, and we would giggle and go to sleep. So anyway, Adorable. I was like, oh, that's this really is nice. A great gift for him. Then. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, it is. He'll be reminded of that of um, this lovely sound I should give him that yeah. and like a light switch yeah <laughs> that's a perfect tie-in present I also love to do tie-in like yes. a gift with a yes. thing yes we love the tie-in gifts we we love fancy gifts because we love to give gifts we do should we do the funny like have you had me Springfield Confidential I didn't plan to talk about this Michael and I'm very sorry I'm springing uh, it on you oh my goodness uh, but we have this lovely new book Springfield Confidential by Mike Rice this is a full history of um, The Simpsons, and what a good present to give this, okay, give your dad more than a donut hole, like give him the full actual donut, 
But what a cute little present to give him this little donut. Yeah. yeah, perfect Father for all the Day breakfast. A little or a gift card, f- or a <laughs> gift card to Dunkin' Donuts. Perfect. My dad would love that. Except when there's where there's no, there are parts of the country where there are no Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, really? Shock and horror. Shock and horror. And America runs on Dunkin'. I know, but apparently not only the certain part parts. Of it. Yeah, it doesn't work in a print. <laughs> it doesn't work yeah. anywhere. Oh, that's so funny. This is the page that I had my hand on. John Lovett's giving somebody bunny ears. Oh. There's a picture of it. John Lovett. There you go. Yeah. Great. Anyway, yeah. so that's such a cute little present. I love that. You can go next. Um, okay. So, this is one moment where my dad, if he's watching, can act surprised or look away or whatever. This is a backlist title. This is, this is, uh, Jane Levy's The Last Boy. It's Mickey Mantle and the End of America's Childhood. Um, my dad is a huge New York Yankees fan. Uh, born and raised in New Jersey. There is kind of only, well... There are two options for my dad. When, when the Brooklyn Dodgers left Brooklyn, my dad then became a Yankees fan. So um, you might know Jane Levy from Sandy Koufax biography, which was super huge and super great. Um, this was the next book after the Sandy Koufax book, uh, was her Mickey Mantle book. Um, it's a great, great biography of Mantle. And then... Just in time for the playoffs, um, which hopefully the New York Yankees will be in part. Um, The big fella, Babe Ruth, uh, in the world he created, this is coming out in October. So Sorry, you'll have to wait for it. You'll have to wait for it. Sorry. It's an exciting pre-order gift. It is an exciting (laughs) pre-order gift if you want to do a World Series gift for your dad. (sighs) Or an early holiday gift for your dad. Um, You can add this to, you know, a pre-order cart on your favorite online shopping network. Um, so, there's, <laughs> so there's that. Um, but Mickey Mantle, the biography of Mickey Mantle is super great and super exciting, and my dad will totally act surprised when I do not gift wrap this and give it to him this weekend. Very you nice. know what? There is, uh, in, the, in the mall in Fargo, North Dakota, there is a mini museum for Mickey Mantle. Oh, really? Is there? Yes. Have you been? I have. Haven't you? <laughs> no, I have not. I cannot say. Wait, it's Mickey Mantle, right? Now I I'm second guessing myself. I can't no, say. But sure I can't say that Fargo has been on my well, list of places that I've been. But now, now I guess it. Now I guess it has to be. Now you have to go. Now I have to go. I highly recommend it. <laughs> There's, a, it's where the hot, it's right, it's right on the corner of where <laughs> hot topic is. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I know that. Um. I have two, okay, so I have a good one that is a good, like, oh, we could call it, like, a page and popcorn present. Oh, my dad Ooh, loves popcorn, I love too. That. I could just give this to him and popcorn. I'm going to write it in my newsletters from now on. Page, page and, and popcorn. popcorn. I tot- Thanks, Andrew Berman. I totally stole that from my friend oh, okay. Andrew, who has a book club it. called Page and Popcorn. That's great. And they read a book, watch the movie. Anyway, mm-hmm. so we have two good options for you. First of all, there's Dunkirk which is um, the official movie tie-in book for the movie that came out last summer, but now it's out in DVD, so you can totally buy the DVD or, like, buy it on Voodoo or something. And I have the DVD. I should have yeah, brought it I in. Have, no, I so have I the DVD. Asked. I should have brought it in. This book I gave to my dad for Christmas. <clears throat> he loved it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He loved the movie. He loved the book. So uh, The movie stressed me out a little bit, so yeah. I didn't actually watch no. it. But, uh, I haven't uh, watched it yet. I confess. What, you I, have, I have not watched it. I, I have the DVD, it. but I do. I own it, but I haven't watched it yet. So. Well, the movie is very stressful. It is. Very good, but stressful? very it stressful. Is. I can't watch Harry Styles go through that. It's just going to be too much for me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's, it's all coming out here on Facebook Live. But anyway, give him the book and the DVD, and then you guys can sit and watch it together. Mm-hmm. You can bring some popcorn with, pop that. It's great and for make history it a fan. experience. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's perfect for history fans. Pop for pops. O M G. You're welcome. That's the perfect title you're for yours. You're welcome. Pop for pops. You're welcome. Actually, that'd be a really funny way to wrap that present. Just give your dad like a garbage bag full of popped popcorn with and that stuff in there. Or do the or do the no, Christmas string. Oh, or the Christmas string. This is getting so this weird. Is. I love it. <laughs> I make it every year. The Christmas popcorn. Do you do? I do. I I find it very soothing. I need to know about the mechanics of like. How, do you use a needle? Yeah. You must use a needle. Yeah. Do you go through. through the kernel part of it? Yeah. And I then, so and then I put questions. a cranberry in between. <gasps> to hold it on there yeah. and then space it. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Okay. But wait, I have one more okay. movie one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I came with two. I am dying to see this movie. 
I figured out the ending. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I haven't seen it yet, but I did Google it just to know if I was right. And I was right, and I was so excited. Okay. Um, so this is a drift. This is a it's a memoir by Tammy um, Ashcraft. It is a true a true story. story. An amazing. Movie. She and her fiance were going to take this. Uh, this yacht across the ocean for this guy he was paying them to do it and then they ran into a hurricane because of course it's a thing that happens dun, dun, dun. <gasps> and all hell that's breaks stressing loose. me out yeah, yeah that would but, yeah that would stress me out too yeah. but the movie has Shailene Woodley and Sam Claflin in it and it's the guy have you guys seen the movie Everest I recently watched it and know. it is horrifying okay. but it's another one of those like natural disaster um, thrillers that mm -hmm. the director of this has done anyway it's great but this is in the theaters now um, the reviews say that Shailene Woodley does a really, like, it's, most yeah. of the movie is just her on the sh boat in the middle of yeah. the ocean with no help. Um, so you can get your dad some movie tickets, and then give him the book, and then you guys can, again, go yeah. see the movie, read the book together, whatever, and you can read it after. But, I love it. Oh, this is another one. It would stress me the F out. I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> Should yeah, we Bethany, why are about... your movie tie-ins so stressful? I don't I... know. Why do I keep picking the ones that are... That are making me panic. The nail biters. I know. Um, well, we got yes, Betty. So she the saw the movie Adrift and it was amazing. Did you? No, okay. Betty. She Betty is commenting. Tell her she's got to get this. Yeah. Betty, you've got to get Adrift. Got to get the book. And I think that's such a sweet little cover. Did you know? Speaking of movies, actually, I just did watch the Peter Rabbit movie. Which oh is my gosh, really I cute. loved it. Oh, I love I it. I watched so it with my nephew. Much. Yeah. It's so good. It's so good. I, I was laughing. Have I've seen it like three times and I have not watched it with a child yet. Just me. <laughs> But anyway, that's rabbits true. do this thing when they apologize. Yes, and the they movie put tells their, me this. They put their, they put the their foreheads, foreheads together. together. So Just like yeah. this. Yeah. Anyway, it's really cute. Yes, Should is we... the answer to your question, which I think I know what you're going to ask. What do you think that. I'm going to ask? Yeah. Okay. Well, because I was kind of going to go in two places, but I'll go here first since we just got oh, done wow. talking about true disasters um, and tense moments. They're uh, everywhere. They're everywhere. This is Rachel Slade's Into the Raging Sea. Uh, so it is. It is really. It is really so good. It's kind of weird to say that it's so good about a book that talks about the loss of all thirty-three hands on a U.S. flag container ship called El Faro. Um, but especially when she's got the transcript of the black yes. box. Oh, yeah. It's heartbreaking. A, it's a true story of the loss of thirty-three mariners in one megastorm, Hurricane Joaquin. Um, Rachel Slade is a journalist. She took um, the transcript of the black box recording from the ship of the El Faro once it was recovered. And all of the dialogue in this book is the crew of this ship going through essentially what was their last moments alive um, once the ship went into, the, into Hurricane Joaquin. Um, I was absolutely captivated by this book when I read it. Um, that's a good word for that. Yeah. 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 It was. It was a really. It was a really tough book to put down, um, and walk away from, and not really spend a lot of time thinking about it and thinking it over. Um, but it's a. It's a great. It's a great true story. A fascinating true story about the American <clears throat> shipping industry um, and commercial shipping practices in this country. <laughs> um, so it's a lot of new stuff that was completely brand new to me. Um, I wouldn't. I don't think naturally have picked up a book um, about either of those things. But uh, it's super, super captivating, a super great read. Um, and since I work in the academic marketing department, we have an amazing podcast series. OMG, are you plugging oh, yourself? Yeah, yes, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, I know. Did you have a call with her? Go I did. Wow. I, talked with, I talked with Rachel Slade. Uh, so if you search for Harper Academic Calling, that's our podcast series on iTunes or on SoundCloud, nice. um, you can listen to my conversation with Rachel. Uh, she was really, really super great to talk to. Um, and this is a really, really fascinating, fascinating book about a true story. And I read this because I read the Jennifer Egan Michelle, uh, Manhattan Beach. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. And there's that chunk um, of the story where the guy is, he's, I mean, that's set back in like the 40s, but mm -hmm. he's uh, a ship, he's, what am I trying to say? Like, a, he's a mariner, a mariner but, not yeah. a, but not a military one. Civilian? No, so the, a commercial mariner. Commercial mariner. Yeah. And anyway, so I was like, oh, well, this is kind of like that. So I picked that up. And again, absolutely. Yeah, it I it was absolutely absolutely captivating. Um, and I'm terrified of drowning. Me too. So, That's why I don't want to read it. But oh yeah. my gosh! But it's, it's just good. it's really it's re the book. The experience of reading the book is like just really something. And she's a wonderful journalist. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah, she really is. And she tells I, the way that she tells the story and uses their own conversation. I think really sets her book apart from thinking about maritime disaster books yes. and narratives out there. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you're right. 
And you can also get it on digital audio. That's an You option. can also get it on digital audio. And if you buy it, oh, and Libro FM, Libro.fm, um, you can gift digital audio from their site. Mm -hmm. So you can, if you like, if you're like on your way to your dad's house on Father's Day and you're like, mother of God, I have not gotten him anything, just quickly like go to Libro.fm and like zip him a, zip him a digital zip audio book, yeah. of any one of these books. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Do you want to go next? I would. So, First in Line is a great book for a father that loves politics, that loves history, um, the presidents. This is Kate Anderson Brower's newest book. She is a wonderful writer. Uh -huh. She wrote First Women and The Residents, all New York Times bestsellers. I love her writing. She distills history in such a fascinating way. And uh, First in Line is all about the vice presidents in history, from Richard Nixon to, um, pardon me, yes, from Richard Nixon to um, Mike Pence. And um, there are 13 uh, vice presidents profiled in here, and it's a behind-the-scenes story of what happens in the White House. Mm -hmm. And the, these men that are uh, next in line. Hopefully, we'll say women someday. Oh, but we, we, we will. will. But um, oh, if I have anything to I, say about it. <laughs> in the meantime, um, this book is is just being talked about everywhere. You can look it up online. Um, everyone is having her on their um, podcasts and on their television programs. She is, like I said, a wonderful writer, and I just think this would be a great gift for. Um, Dads that are totally. into politics, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. so. And I think her first two are in paperback. Too, they are, so you yes. Can the one two punch of, mm -hmm. of or, this and that. And The Residence. Yeah. I have to say, The Residence is one of the greatest books, really. It's um, just an inside story of um, the White House and um, all little like tidbits of what goes on. I really enjoyed it. So. But then a lot of that is about, too, like the, like, the people who are, I don't want to say servants, Behind the but scene. The, the, yeah. the work. In the residence part of the White House, yes. not the like business part of the White yeah. House. Yeah, which is so fascinating. Good one. That was a good one. Okay, who's got another one? Um, I burned through mine. Really I have fast. two. I have two history ones. Oh, this one that I'm I could so talk glad about. You chose this book. Oh, together. Well, not together. I don't know. I'll do this one first. I love this. Book. I love this one too. Um, so this is Michael Twitty's The Cooking Gene. A journey. Can I read it so I can oh. read the subtitle? Because I don't remember <laughs> yeah. the subtitle off the top of my head. A journey through African American culinary history in the Old South. Um, so Michael Twitty is. Um, uh, it's a James Beard award-winning book. Um, Michael Twitty is a culinary historian, and the book pretty much does what it says on the tin. Um, he talks to you about Southern cuisine and African and African American influence on Southern cu cuisine throughout history. Um, he is an African-American gay Jewish man, and he is himself a completely fascinating individual. And this is such a wonderful book about part of an integral part of American culinary history. So if your dad is a foodie, uh, this is a great, great book um, that tells you a part of the history. There are pictures of Bethany's discovering that there are photos. I just in discovered this book. that. Um, uh, but Michael Twitty works at Colonial Williamsburg, and so he does reenactments at Colonial Williamsburg using colonial the colonial kitchens that they have. Which um, I love. I'm yeah. always fascinated by that. Yeah, and he um, he's just a really, really fascinating, fascinating person. This is him um, on the cover, right? That yes. is him on the cover, yes. It's actually going to be um, also out in paperback next month, but the hardback uh, is totally available. It's beautiful. It, yeah, it captivated all of us um, when we read it, so we definitely think that it's something that your dad and any foodie in your life um, <laughs> would really super enjoy. Is it weird to say that this just really hungry? <laughs> yeah, no, I, it did too. There aren't any recipes in it, so if you're looking for recipes, yeah, that's not, not something. That. That's not something that happens here. Um, but it's just that's a fantastic. really, really wonderful cultural food history. Do you need this back? You could give um, one of these pans. If you do, that's I do. I do need you it back. Could give a cast iron pan in that book. Yeah, you could. You right? could, yeah. Because it's on the cover. Um, and then I have one more history one. Um, Dad, you can also act surprised tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I asked. Do your yeah. surprise face. 
<laughs> yeah. That was um, I um, asked my mom a while ago if my dad would like this book. So my dad um, was an electrician. Mm. He sometimes still is. Mm -hmm. uh, every now and again, uh, if something does not work at my parents' house. But so this is Simon Winchester's The Perfectionist, How Precision Engineers Created the Modern World. Which sounds super dry. Mm -hmm. And it, but, what I'm going to tell you is I don't care about anything <laughs> to do yeah. with engineering. Yeah. And I was like, I read one chapter of this book and I was like, well, I'm in this to win it. Yeah. Wow. I mean, he takes you, you know, through engineering's roots from the Industrial Revolution right up until the present day. Um, Simon Winchester may be a name that's familiar to you if you have read The Professor and the Madman, the making of the Oxford English Dictionary, um, which is one of... Krakatoa is one yeah, that Krakatoa people always tell one. me about. Yeah, um, I always say Professor and the Mad Men because that was one of my favorite books to oh, teach sure. when I taught. Yes. So, um, and I love the OED. And it's coming out in a movie soon. It is coming out in a movie soon. Yeah, it's wow. being adapted. Um, but The Perfectionist is great for either the engineers in your life or people who are mechanically inclined. If you are not mechanically inclined and engineeringly inclined, like Bethany and I are totally not. Um, but then there's that chapter in here about um, about Rolls Royce, yes, and Henry Ford and cars in yes, general. Yes, and cars in general. Um, so. And there's what well, there's one about, talk about the cotton gin. Some and like a little bit about, about the, it talks about a, me a mechanism yeah. in both for gut for guns and a mechanism <clears throat> in the cotton gin. Yeah, um, like how those like how you can't mass produce them because then they're not. Totally they're not perfect. exact. They're not, they're not precise. perfect yeah. enough to. They're not precise. To function. Oh my goodness! Um, because it's precision engineering. Yeah. Um, oh, so. my God. This book is so good. And he read the audio book. Oh, he did read the audio book, which is yeah. yeah. And he is such a wonderful. Is he British? He is. Oh, okay. he, he when he I talks. I have to listen to that. I, yeah. yeah. I also said super British, yeah. and then I was like, what does that even mean? <laughs> when, that will, I love that idea for the audio book. Mm -hmm. When he talks, you, it's basically you want him to be the British grandfather that you never okay. had. Oh, or maybe that you have had, I don't know, but I, I didn't 100%. have one. So. And I just want to point out this package is really cool. Yeah. Beautiful. Because the actual cov the cover, there's no dust jacket, there's just this belly yes. band thing, which you can take off if you want, and yep. that's what it looks like. Beautiful book. But then when you've got it on there, it looks really cool. And there's a, there's what is that called? Yeah. A back. diagram? Of the of the yeah. iPod of the I, I, of I the iPod, yeah. I have no words. Today. I actually didn't notice that that was on the back, but yeah, that's on the back. Hmm. I yeah. like that. So anyway, clever, clever design team from those folks at Harper. I also really love. Um, I love a good footnote. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you will find them. Yes, lots you will, of them you will find them. Yeah, that's, that's why I like Mary Roach books because they're full of funny footnotes. Funny footnotes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I love footnotes, but I if they're funny too. footnotes, yeah. oh, even better. Listen. They chose the good writer that has done their research. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And puts it in there. Yeah. Can I jump in? Yeah, you can. are kind of in history. Yeah. Are the we going, rise oh, yeah. We're going fall. way back in history. <laughs> way back in way time. Back. The Rise and the Fall of Dinosaurs. This is Stephen um, Brusati's new book. Mm -hmm. and first he is, book, I think. First book. He is a paleontologist. Mm -hmm. And they still exist. He yeah. still exists. He is he is renowned. He goes on digs all the time. And he's like thirty three. He's like thirty three. And he's American. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a hand in there. Oh. What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Alex, I could have thrown these to you. So this is the ultimate cool. book for dinosaur lovers. Oh. It's a, a encyclopedia from, from beginning to to end of the dinosaur. Yeah. To beginning to, to dot, 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 dot. Yeah, that's true. Jurassic Park could come true. <laughs> and this would be a great book to pair with Jurassic World tickets. Oh, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that's coming out. Beautiful book. And it's getting, a, like, did you say it's getting a lot of great reviews? It, it is. Are, like, yeah. I, Washington Post, everything. I'm having yeah. people ask me for this book. Yes. Because they just love dinosaurs, but he apparently does a really great job of just breaking it all down. Well, mm -hmm. you know where else you can hear him talk about this book? <gasps> on your on podcast. Your podcast. <laughs> on your podcast. Our disembodied voice of Michael Finan um, had a great conversation with Steve um, about the rise and fall of the dinosaurs shortly before it was published, um, and you can find that on Harper Academic Calling as well. And I how did. do you find that? SoundCloud and... SoundCloud and <laughs> iTunes <laughs> and Stitcher and everywhere. All if right. you just search Harper Academic Calling, you will find us. 
He's someone who you can tell he's just so passionate about he what was, he does. He like, was so excited about yeah. dinosaurs. Like, it was really, really great. We do like, each other's audio, I mean, in the high-tech thing that we have, which is, we are not high-tech at all, but um, when we do record our podcast, but... You're high-tech to me! <laughs> but we, um, so I was sitting and listening and, and doing the audio for the recording for Michael, and it, it's, it was so great to hear Steve be so excited about talking about being in Scotland and looking for dinosaurs and... Which he did, like, last week, too. He did, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which blows my mind. I can't believe that they're still doing that. Yeah. It's amazing. And it's, it's a, cool. like, it's an increasingly big field. Like, they're making yeah. new discoveries all the time. That was yeah. one thing that really blew my mind when I read it. How it's so relevant still. Yeah. Somebody talked my ear off recently about how dinosaurs had feathers, for sure. And he talks about that in this book. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were... He was very, very passionate about that. Anyway, that's the end of that story. Okay. I'm just going to jump in with another book. Please so, do. The World's Largest Man. This is... Has anyone read this? Have you I, guys? I, I no. What I actually it. really want to read is new one. Okay. Yes. So, he... I love Harrison Scott K. It's K. Okay. Oh, he, is it? If he's watching, mm-hmm. <laughs> he knows I have a crush. I just think he is... <laughs> <laughs> he is hilarious. And this book came out in 2015... And now we actually have it in paperback as well, but this is the hardcover. It had me in stitches. Oh, yeah. It is hilarious. His new one is called, oh, dang it, I just lost it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Who are you again? Yeah. A memoir. Which is his second, so this is a memoir of him growing up and looking at his father, who was very like a Paul Bunyan-esque type of man. Yeah. Like larger than life and it helped him to look back and see the way he saw his father it made him want to, I don't know, um, how he learned from his father, that's how he is parenting his children. Oh, that makes so, sense. But it's hilarious. It has, it has the funniest stories. Your dad will absolutely love this. And his new memoir, which is out this October, I believe, mm-hmm. that is about how he went to all of the book signings and people were saying to him, who are you? Um, <laughs> you, wrote a, you wrote a book? And so that's like his experiences on his book tour book tour but we love him he is a twitter takeover guest of ours often he's so funny he's hilarious and if he's doing an event near you go yeah, to go. it yeah. he's hysterical if, he, if you're on twitter follow him on twitter he's also on on instagram mm-hmm. he's just really a funny um very droll person so and we all need yeah. a little funny these yeah. days we do yeah okay what book do you want to talk about do we want to talk about fiction we've been doing a lot of nonsense. i was gonna say yeah do we have no okay fiction? Yeah, we have some fiction. Oh, you still over there? Oh, I'm here. Hi. May I have a donut? Do you want yeah. to get a donut? Sure. Michael, do you need one? Do you need me to throw you one over? Um, I'm good for the moment. I'll run in when you least expect it. Surprise. Hey, yeah, wait. Hey, I didn't know there was maps in this. Of course there are maps in it. That's so small. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just going to re- like look at the map for a while. Okay. I love you talked about that. All right, I'll yeah. talk about this. So this is our summer 2018 book from Anthony Horowitz. It's called The Word is Murder. Um, you may recognize the name. Last summer's Magpie Murders was I like a huge... I like to say it like this. The Word is Murder. <laughs> okay, that's appropriate. It's appropriate. <laughs> okay, continue. So, um... So this is a story, it's a novel, it's fiction, um, where Anthony Horowitz inserts himself as a character into his own book. Um, He um, comes across a wayward police detective who needs some help and also has some grand ideas about himself and wants his, his life story written. And so he happens upon this, this, this guy called Anthony Horowitz, who's this Seemingly okay writer, um, and as it happens, um, a woman a woman ends up dying, and um, bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. so now um, the detective, what is his name? I forget his name. Oh, Daniel yeah, Hawthorne. And the woman dies after she has gone to a funeral home to plan her funeral. To plan her own funeral, yeah. Um, so the detective Daniel Hawthorne enlists um, a game crime writer, Anthony Horowitz, um, to help him solve this case, um, the murder and mysterious death of Diana Kelper. Um, I love this book. I am terrible at guessing the outcome of mystery books. I don't know if anyone else is similarly terrible, but I'm <laughs> nope. I'm terrible at it usually, um, but I really love, I call them my murder books. I really <laughs> love, I really love my murder books. And my, my dad is also a big mystery fan um, as well. 
He hasn't read this one yet, um, but he did read Magpie Murders. He liked Magpie I Murders a lot, read. too. Uh, Magpie Murders is out in paperback. Um, this is out in hardcover. This was just published um, a couple weeks ago, I think. Yeah. Um, and it's super, super, it's a super great read. It's a quick read, um, and it's really enjoyable for the murder book fan uh, in your life as well. It was. I thought it was so meta. It is, yeah. It is a complete metafictional kind of book, yeah. And I've been familiar, because when, back when I was a bookseller, I would sell his children's books, and mm -hmm. like, um, well, I guess technically I'm still a bookseller, but... It, like, I was just so familiar with this whole catalog, and it comes up in this, and, like, him writing for TV comes up with this, yeah. which he does. He does. And I was like, what am I reading? Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah. It is, it's a really, really fun book. If you're familiar with his TV work, with Anthony Horowitz's TV work, if you're familiar with sort of his backlist, it's a really rich, um, multi-layered plot. If you're not, missing references won't bother you. That's it, true. It won't interrupt your reading experience at all. So. But I highly recommend him. He's so yeah. Good. And he writes now, um, he does all the uh, 007, the James Bond Yes, James Bond, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so if your dad's super into those, he's got one out already called Trigger Mortis. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, that's right. And then there's one coming up that's really good. That's Trigger the Mortis. that's the origin story of James Bond. Mm -hmm. that's, it's so good. It so, is really good. Oodles of Anthony Horowitz for you. Who's got other fiction? I don't. Oh, I do. You do have oh, fiction. Wait. But that's, oh, no, I can I can have another lightning round book. It's okay. 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 I am super into all, like, spy thrillers, all sorts of, like, any sort of thriller that takes place, like, with, like, something related to the government. And I can't think, I can't think of what those are called. Um, and, like, anything like Michael Connelly, and I just, like, like, Brad Thor, I eat that stuff up. Okay. And I love Scandal, yes. the TV show. And all of these things came together in this Tom Rosenstiel book called Shining City. So the whole premise of this is that um, a Supreme Court justice dies, and so they have to obviously put another one in its place. Mm -hmm. And so the president hires these two fixers to um, to vet the new people, mm -hmm. and so they're vetting them. But then while they're vetting them, there's this like side story where um, all of these prominent people are dying, and it turns out bum, 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 that the next victim is probably going to be one of these two people that's being vetted for the Supreme Court. It is bananas but it was so much fun and i read this on vacation which i never i really don't read on vacation and i read this on vacation and, you loved and it. absolutely loved it and then like right away sent it to a friend of mine and i was like you need to read this you're gonna love it mm. it's so good and so then book two i think is coming out this fall the winter okay it's either there fall or winter is it book two yeah there is a book two it's a yeah it's There's a follow-up follow yeah. yeah and this book so so good you have to get this and that's the just Please, you just know, I put everybody in book buy this. And it always does well. Oh, it's so good. Bookpark.com. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, you can plug it. Go ahead and plug. <laughs> it's our daily deals newsletter. And I just mentioned to Bethany that I place this in Bookpark often, and it's always the top seller. Mm -hmm. And I think the cover is just so good. Yeah. I just love everything about this book. Okay. I want to hug everybody that's watching right now and just hand them this book <laughs> and be like, go have some time to yourself and read it. Love that's it. okay. Yeah. That's my fiction. Yeah. yeah. Shining City. Are you going to do this one? I can Is talk about this one. one? It, 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 yeah, oh, but we can around. still... Yeah, I can still talk about Go it. Nuts. It's fine. Um, so this is The Last Mrs. Parrish. This is Liv Constantine, um, which is a pen name of two sisters, actually. And um, it might seem like an odd choice for Father's Day <laughs> gift, but this is actually um, my dad read and approved. Uh, he really loved this book. Um, it's the story of... A woman who kind of butts in to, um, to two people's lives uh, in Connecticut um, and disrupts. It's, hard, it's really hard to talk about a thriller because you don't want to give anything away. Right. So, um, uh, and she really disrupts their, their lives um, and this marriage um, because she really wants what this wife, uh, Daphne, has. And it's very twisty. Um, there's a huge twist that happens in this book that I think everyone that has read this book has been thrown off guard by it. I um, was. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not going to give it away. Um, but this was, this was a, this was a my dad approved read. He totally loved it. He couldn't stop talking about this book once he got done reading it. So, 
Um, if you like twisty thrillers, if your dad likes twisty thrillers, if you just want a book for you after buying all of these wonderful yeah. books for him. Yeah, if you just um, find yourself in the bookstore and you're like, Reese hmm, something Yeah, it was, a, it was a Reese Witherspoon book club pick. Um, so it's, it's a super, super great book. Um, our library marketing team really, really loved this book as well. Um, so it got a lot of in-house, in-house love. Um, but yeah, it's a twisty thriller fiction, um, quick read with a super incredible, huge twist. It is a good beach read. A good payoff. And I'm not a beach a reader, beach read. but yeah. it's a good beach read. I'm so jealous of people that can read on beaches. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah. Why not? It's uncomfortable. I just get just, so distracted oh, okay. by the nothing. People and nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I just lay there. Yeah. And my contacts dry out, and then I get unhappy, and I go home. Yeah. Okay. That's how it always goes. Relaxing. Relaxing. <laughs> Super <laughs> relaxing. Yeah. And we're also getting some love in the comments for Last Mrs. Parish. Oh. Betty wants to read it. Elizabeth loved it. Loved in all caps. Whoa. Um, and Bethany, we have a request oh, to yeah? go ahead and bring Bearskin up front. Oh, oh. Bearskin! Oh, we are talking. Oh, good job, Chorus. You guys get a donut for that. Was that, cool. echo, was that an echo? That was oh, oh, was it an echo? Yeah, it was an echo. Yeah, I meant the. Uh, imprint but that's okay oh that was way good though yeah. okay. i once had someone leave me a voicemail message on my phone because they were trying to get a hold of echo and they like our imprint echo and they spelled echo e-c-c-o oh. on my voicemail message it was the most bizarre voicemail message that i have ever gotten ever i have lots I've... of questions that we're yeah. gonna ask yeah. you're gonna answer okay. later okay Fine. listen everyone listen. Is, this, is this is the, the no fail <laughs> everyone that you give this to is gonna love it and I say this because when somebody first told me to read this, I was like, no, absolutely not. And then I read it way after I was supposed to have read it and was like, oh, my God, why didn't you have me read this sooner? And they were like, I tried. OK, so this book is so good. It opens with this guy is working for a cartel, but he doesn't want to be. OK, mm -hmm. there's a whole thing there. And then, so he's on the run from the cartel. So he goes on the run to this nature preserve in the Appalachian Mountains, okay? And it seems like there's a lot happening. I promise there's not. Okay, so he's on the run. He's, on, he's off the grid on this nature preserve. There's a motorcycle gang that's mm -hmm. doing naughty, dirty things. And he winds up getting involved in it. It's terrible. But then there's all these bears getting poached on his nature preserve. So he's just mad as hell. So he's trying to figure out who these, these bear poachers are, right? So he's dealing with the poachers, he's dealing mm -hmm. with his motorcycle gang, he's off the grid, and then, dot, 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 I keep doing that and I don't care, um, the cartel finds him. And then all hell breaks loose. And yeah, it is after the cartel finds him that all hell breaks loose. And this story is bananas. First of all, is it, what is it, Gilly, oh, Gilly Rag, Gilly something? Gilly Suit. Gilly Suit. Mm -hmm. Didn't know what a Gilly Suit was, super glad I know now. This book is just amazing in ways that I cannot even describe to you. All right. Buy yeah, this for yourself, buy it for your mom, buy it for your dad, buy it for your coworker, mm -hmm. buy, it for your grandpa. buy it for your grandpa, buy it for your your child because when they become an adult, they're going to want to read it <laughs> and you should just have it around. Legacy gift. Yeah. What? Legacy, Legacy gift. gift. Legacy yeah. gift, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like write a little note to them in there. Oh my gosh. Get this for everyone. And it's a debut. It's this guy's first yeah. book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bananas. And it's new and everyone's talking about it. Everyone's talking about it. Michael's coming oh, in. Michael's coming for a donut. For a donut. Oh, and this cover, I think this cover is just so good. And the girl that did the cover did such a great job. Oh, did such a great job. Yeah, Sarah Wood. Shout out to Sarah Wood. Hi, designer Sarah. for Echo. She's great. Yep. Okay, so that's bare skin. Love it. OMG, everybody get this. Yeah. Okay, I'm putting it back. I'm kind of sad we didn't borrow their bear. Yeah. That's I didn't true. think about it until I was, was talking about this. That's all right. Oh, next time. That's all right. We have a very low... Gummy bears. We, what? Yeah, for gummy bears. I did have some of the gummy... They made gummy bears yeah. to hand out with this book um, at BookCon or BEA recently, mm -hmm. and I did just eat some of them on the way in this morning because <laughs> I had some of my purse. <laughs> anyway. And now that I think about it, we have... Um, our library marketing team has a bear mask that oh. michael and i found one day Guys, and we there. could have brought it i took it we took our pictures with it on because of course we did um because we're 12 sometimes <laughs> and um i posted uh, you it you have fun at work and that's yeah nice. and i posted it to my twitter account while uh the folks at echo were at ba and um my tweet was in case you need a low rent option for <laughs> for yeah. your bear yeah. i can do here it. i am ta -da. Yeah, ta da i want you to just oh, walk around in that um, okay. Are we getting close to lightning round time? 
Are we we are. Is it it's, lightning round time? It is eleven twelve. Oh, oh so. it is. Oh, do you want us to still it's keep fine. talking then? I can, can keep talking. I'm you can talk super good all day as far as I'm I concerned. I have two fun. fun we do not books. have all day. <laughs> I have two fun books. Okay. Oh, go for yes. it. Yes. Do you pay so, drunk? You know, I love gifty books. You so, do. You are the queen of the gifty book. <laughs> so this book is pants drunk. <laughs> <laughs> say it in. Say it in the. So in the, in, the um, in Finnish. So it's so the real name is Kalsiari Kani. I'm not okay. That sounds fun. I hope there's not if a anybody finish. from Finland, if Finland is, watching, is watching. Please correct us. We're, we're yes. sorry. Yeah, we're, sorry. We're, sorry. we're sorry. It's translated as um, pants drunk, and what it is is drinking in your underwear at home, at, at home, home yep. by yourself. By yourself. Yep. Look at Alex. <laughs> Is for Alex me, is super happy. So Huga is so last year. <laughs> Luca, <laughs> Luca <gone>. yeah, <laughs> Lagam, forget about it. Yeah, yeah, Hand struck. Yeah, <laughs> this is where it's at. Yeah. So this is a. It's just a delightful little book with all illustrations and. Will you please point out the lamp on the cover? Oh, we, oh I love the lamp because there's a tie. There's hanging a tie. There's a tie it. hanging from it. Yeah. So, the whole so idea, when you get home, you yeah. fling off your tie yeah, you or your bra and your <laughs> and, and yeah. your pants. Yeah, and your pants. pants. Yeah. You lock the door, yeah. that's and then you drink. That's, yes. that's actually part of the book. You lock your door, and then you just drink by yourself. And then you just drink by yourself. So it's it's just an adorable little book. The size of it, the pages, the colors. I love it. And, but it's a um, legit path Look, to it tells you how to chill. I mean, people, you kind of do. <laughs> I need you know, to be told how yeah, to chill you know, sometimes. It's, it's fine. the way things are nowadays, right? And put down the phone. Soft and just, furnishing. Yes, soft furnishing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that one just laid me <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm looking um, at the I'm looking at Hors d'oeuvres, what you can serve. Really? It's, about, it's about tasty snacks. Pizza. Pizza. I like it. So, um, Potato chips. Yeah. You don't need to Mixology. They give you some recipes. So this is a really fun book. I can just imagine a dad opening this and being like, what is pants drunk? <laughs> I think that he's gonna laugh really hard. Yeah, and yeah. The, the, there's gonna be some shouting. I, oh, it? I like it. And then this book I'm is sure. great for beer lovers. Um, the Scratch and Sniff Guide to Beer. I, by mistake, took the uh, the dummy <laughs> inside. The dummy, yeah. the inside <laughs> is very full. This is an inside look. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is the dummy copy. Yeah, this was at somebody's desk. <laughs> the actual um, <laughs> one that you get will have interior. Yes, it will yes. have interior. So this is. It's just a. Fabulous book for anybody that loves beer. There's all, um, there's the story of beers in here, how it began, um, how recipes, yep. and it has little scratch and sniffs on like every other page or something, mm -hmm. so you can smell your favorite hot hops. Yeah, hops. yeah. I didn't. Uh, we didn't have time before we started. I actually have copies at my desk that have stuff inside um and uh i didn't have a chance to go back and get it before we started but i love beer i'm i think i'm going to take this for myself to do today <laughs> not till i'm done and, with it. <laughs> and then, but this the scratch and sniff guide to beer is a really fun it's a fun beer book if you like uh learning about the history of beer to a certain extent or just a fun sort of beer book to have to add to your growing collection um, this is a super, super fun book. The folks at Harper Design did a really, really great they job. Um, you can learn a lot. You can smell some of your favorite hops. Um, you can look at thinking about label art hop. and stuff like that. There's oh, yeah, the um, label art is really good. And yeah. there's there's a hop on the spine, too. Um, and it's just... And it's there's just the label a, art on yeah. the back cover. And it's just a really super, super great, great book yeah. for the beer lover in your life. Mm -hmm. I'm distracted by pants is, drunk over here. This so. is a nice companion to give your dad with like some craft beer. Yes, right? I or think even so. just a piece of Bud Light. Why not? Yeah, right, why, why not? not? You could take him out for a beer. You could take him out for you a beer. You hand him the mug and then you hand him the book and yeah. you say, Happy Father's yeah. Day. Or you can hand him pants drunk and leave I his house. Like, <laughs> like, right? Like, yes. Like, yes. <laughs> I was going to add on to the joke and then I decided yeah, not to. Well, you can't really get to take it yeah. too many places. Yeah. But I feel like some of these books, like this one, Pants Drunk, also we have Visualizing the Beatles. These are wonderful books if you have a dad or a brother or a grandpa that likes to display their books. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. These are wonderful coffee table okay, books. Okay, there's yeah, yeah, a yeah. section in Pants Drunk about um, air guitar, mm -hmm. air drum, air bass, etc. And then there's a list of songs for each instrument, air yes. instrument that are really good. Okay. Under air microphone, yeah. number one is Celine Dion, All By Myself. Oh. How Bridget oh. Jones. Very. That is, Love. yeah. Oh my gosh. 
You can't have this. I'm taking it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm sure I can find another one somewhere. That's true. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll find another one. <laughs> okay, what? Are we still going? Oh, hey, will you grab Book of M? Book right of behind M. you, the one sure. that's from Um, If you or your dad you or some one? dude that you know um, are into, like, Justin Cronin, The Passage by Justin mm -hmm. Cronin, or you read, like, Station Eleven, um, which came out a couple years ago, you have to get them the Book of M. Um, it's one of those kind of um, speculative... It's, like, science fiction light, I would say, which is why I say it's speculative fiction. Um, but it's so... It's so gut-wrenching and sad but also very hopeful and happy and the whole idea is that people's um, shadows are going away and when their shadows go away their memories start to go mm -hmm. but it's their memories of who they are or who you are but also forgetting to eat or breathe or like don't walk into the that body of water because you'll drown don't put your hand on that hot thing because you'll burn yourself mm -hmm. don't walk in front of that car because you'll die um, so like so then people are dying and so this is happening and then there's this couple that tries to run from it and then one of them their shadow goes away but then it's interspersed with flashbacks to before their the shadows started disappearing all over the world so you see what their life was like before this like unspeakable tragedy started sweeping across the entire globe yeah. it is was so the, what was the strap line for this book what would you give up so you can remember yes yeah Okay. Wow. I really like that one. Yeah. I used it. I, well, I used that was it. Good. I this used... is also an audio book, and it, I listened to an excerpt. And it, it, the audio yeah. was amazing. And so if you have a dad that really is into audio books and mm -hmm. said you can get all, well, I think a lot of, of many most of, these. of them. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not this one. Maybe not this, yeah. I don't know. We should check out if we have pants drunk. Oh, okay. I'll look it up. We probably do. Um, the book of M, though, I and like the cover is beautiful. Yeah. Everything, yeah. I love everything about this book. The author is a delight. It's her is first, this her yeah, it's it's her her debut. first yeah. book. And it just blew me the F away. I couldn't believe it. Okay. I didn't say the naughty word that I can't say. You didn't say that. I'm so proud of myself. Congratulations. Um, I'm, I'm looking at Pants Drunk to see if it's on digital audio. We also have that. I would love to just Which shout one? out the pasta pie. Oh, the pasta. Oh, you stacked so many things on this. It's okay. I'm a helper. You are a helper. <laughs> So this, helpers. this book is for oh. a dad that loves loves traveling, um, that loves Italy. This book is so beautiful. I can't I can't say enough about it. Um, it's by um, Roads and Kingdoms, and the author is Matt Goulding, and he's written several of these. I think yeah, and isn't he's it always done a, like a Spain a three like it's three foods from the country yes. that are indicative of that country's yep. cuisine. Yes, so he's done a, a one on Japan. Um, yeah, rice Spain, noodle fish. And uh, so now Spain. this is good. Oh, you cheater! And this is actually their last book, Roads and Kingdoms books, um, that they did with Anthony Bourdain. Mm -hmm. um, it's a beautiful book. He did an Instagram takeover with us yesterday on HarperCollins US. So if you want to check it, check it out there. But this book goes <clears> from, <throat> it talks about grandmothers, which I love because the nonas in Italy are so important. They're the ones that have all of the... Um, they hold all of the secrets of cooking. I was just thinking about that restaurant on Staten Island this morning. Which one? Um, oh, that, oh, that only hires oh, grandma. oh, the grandma. I've been there. there. Yeah, I've been there. Oh, um, really? I can't think of what it's called. Enoteki Maria. Good job. You're welcome. The pictures in here will just, if you've never been to Italy, this is the book to get you started and to make your heart yearn to travel there. Mm -hmm. And, um, or if you've been there, this will just bring back every single memory um, his writing is wonderful. It's evocative of the place. I mean, look at these beautiful pictures. And he just really, look, I love this, the salami, the different type of. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He has everything in there. Damn. Give your dad the, that book. The with regions. Some ham. Some ham. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it the down regions. The table. Here so we it's go. not a cookbook, it's a travelogue. Yeah. And it's a beautiful book. And uh, I highly recommend this. And if you can't get to Italy for the notice, go to go to Staten Island. Yeah, yeah. come <laughs> to on, Anna, to, yeah. to Enoteca Maria. It's a great. And Please. they have grandmothers from all over the world, which I super oh, like. Oh, I about didn't it. know that. Yeah, I'm very excited to announce. Pants drunk is available in digital audio. All right. So you really Everybody can get should that download that. In all the formats. Or they should give their dad the download. You can do that on Libro FM. You totally can. You totally Libro can. FM. Can gift it. Yeah. yeah, it's easy peasy. Okay. Um. Okay. What did we, we, what? Wrap up? Did you just say you gotta go? We have to go? We've got, we to go. got about eight okay. minutes left. Okay, we're gonna do lightning round. Lightning round? Yep. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Um, Boom. So this is the. We're just gonna do really fast. Yep. Oh, I can't find mine now. Go. <clears throat> mine is a picture book. Two dads. That's the pitch. Two dads. Oh, and this is actually Vera B. Williams, um, who is a fantastic children's book author and illustrator. She's been around. She um, was published for like thirty years, but this is the last book that she did, um, and it's absolutely lovely. Aww. But that's it. That's my lightning round. Dennis Lane's Since We Fell, Thrillery, Shocking, Murdery, Twisty, great. Twisty, Boston, Dennis Boston, Lahane Boston, is Boston oh, great. Yeah. Dennis Lane yeah. is everything. Um, if you liked um, Mystic River and Shutter Island, definitely pick up. Um, definitely pick up Since We Fell. Conveniently available in paperback and digital audio. Yeah, any book, any book, any book. yeah. Um, I did all my books, but oh. I'm just going to give another shout out to this gorgeous book, Visualizing the Beatles. Um, we published this about a month ago for the Beatles fan in your life. Um, it, everything is, is all, of, all of the history is in, sorry, is in pictures. And, and it does really, it from the beginning of their career yep. to yep. the end, so you can see it chronologically. There is real, look at Revolver, it talks about the, um, the album. Um, there's all little tidbits in here about them, and I just think it's a gorgeous book. This will keep your dad occupied for hours. Mm. Keep me occupied for yeah. hours. Yeah. It's fabulous. So, we have to go so I can just sit in a corner and, uh, read that. Yeah. That's what we got. Yeah. Yeah. So, happy Father's Day happy to yeah. all the dads. It was great. Happy Father's Day. Did I get to do a good job, Alex? I scooted out of the Thank screen. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Thanks guys. Everyone for Thanks, guys. Happy yeah. to be here. Oh, all of these recommendations and more at hcbookfinder.com. I forgot to do that more. Oh, well. What's the URL? One more time. hcbookfinder.com. hcbookfinder.com. Dot com. And sign up for Book Perk. Oh, and sign up for Book Perk while you're there. And listen to her podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Can't well, got our plugs. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. We miss you. Bye.